when you purposely, you know, go after somebody like that, you know, that's more than just taking a cheap shot on somebody. That could really hurt somebody. Um, I mean, you know, you can paralyze somebody, you know, put them out for the rest of the season. So I think there should definitely be some harsh punishment for them. As someone who's caught passes, does it give you any more empathy or sympathy for the wide receivers when they have a drop, or does it make it more frustrating when you see them drop a pass? Um, you know, dropping the ball is part of the game. I mean, the physical mistakes are going to happen, um, and you know, I'll never get mad at a receiver. You know, get on his case too bad about dropping football because you know that's just something that happens you know, through the course of the game. You know, as a receiver, you got to deal with that. As a quarterback, you got to deal with it. And so, you know, I just try to get get in their ear and you know let them know, hey, you know, you'll get the next. You know, you've caught a million balls before. If you're going to drop something that happens, get right back on the horse, get the next one. You know, you can get the end zone, the next one will be fine. So, uh, you know, it's not something that really gets under my skin too bad. What do you see as the keys to winning on the road? Um, we got to have great composure. Uh, you know, going into a hostile environment like that, Oregon State is, I mean, that stadium, those fans, great fans, I mean, they're known for, you know, really disturbing the other team, the other offense especially. Um, you know, teams like USC don't go in there and lose more than once, you know, for nothing. So um, we got to have great composure. We got to go in there and, you know, ride the highs and the lows of the game and stay even keel. You know, there's going to be some great things that are going to happen, you know, whether it's, you know, it's going down that first drive scoring touchdown, you know, we got to stay even keel. We got to stay low, focused. You know, there's going to be something bad that's going to happen. We got to do the same thing and, you know, stay focused. So, um, you know, when you're on the road, any mistakes you made, you make are, uh, you know, they kind of show even more because the crowd's going to get into you and get on you about it. And, you know, they're, they're going to gain momentum off your mistakes. So if we can go in there and, you know, kind of just slide right through those mistakes and, you know, correct and keep going, you know. Have you watched, do you remember watching some of those games, those USC games, those and that? I mean, yeah. What stands out about it? They seem like a pretty, really intense Oh, yeah. No, the, uh, the atmosphere is going to be great. I mean, that's college football atmosphere, you know, it's big time football. And, um, you know, Oregon State, it seems like when they're at home, you know, they really feed off their crowd. And so, you know, that's something we're going to have to get in there and, you know, quiet that crowd right away. If we can't, you know, that, that rests on the offense, really. I mean, if we can go out there, get some points on the board, like, you know, take the crowd out of the game early, that's going to be a huge, huge deal for us. Have you been up there or just seen it on TV? Uh, just seen it on TV, yeah. I've never been there in person. John, Jeff plays around here. seems like he's been there for about 15 years. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, watching him, he's, he's oh, yeah. pretty impressive little guy. Oh, yeah. No, uh, you know, both of the brothers, brothers great football players. Uh, you know, the quickness, the speed they play with is uh, pretty impressive to watch. So, you know, seeing them in person, hopefully our defense will be able to shut them down. The strength of that Oregon State's deep is the defensive line. What do you need from your offensive line to be successful this weekend? Um, you know, they just got to work. They really have to be a unit. Um, you know, with that, with that D line, I mean, they got strength, quickness. They're going to bring some different stuff at you that you know you're not expecting, and stuff you're not going to see. And so we really got to be able to adapt uh, through the game. You know, they got to stick together at um, offensive line. They have to stick together as a group. You know, they got to be able to talk. You know, really communicate well. Pass guys off. Um, you know, and, and you know, like I said, just be able to adapt because things are going to change in the game that you're not expecting. You know, we haven't seen. You know, UK's D line is a great D line also, but you know, I don't know how they compare to Oregon State. I know Oregon State is. Uh, you know, a top D line in the country, so these guys are really getting to move together. You find out things about your team when you're on the road for the first time? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, you kind of find, uh, you find just how much, you know, kind of heart, determination, and grit some of the guys have. You know, some guys that, you know, you're not sure how they're going to react. You know, when you get in a hostile environment like that, you're either going to, you know, shrink away from it and you're going to kind of fall into the shadows or you're going to step up and, you know, stay right in the face and, you know, take it on. So, um, you know, I think we're really as a team, especially as an offense, you know, I think we're going to see really what kind of group we have on the inside this week. The favorite by 14, do you feel like an underdog going in there? Uh, definitely. I mean, anytime you go on the road, you got to go in there, you know, kind of with a chip on your shoulder. you got to be playing like, you know, they think they're going to win this game, they go and they're showing them they're not going to. Um, you know, I know we're going to say it's a great team, um, but I also know that we can go in there and win it before the game today. Anything else?